Caesar take one. Wait, do I say action and then do it? Action. <laughs> Hello again, I'm Caesar with the Food 52 Test Kitchen and this is Recipe Drop where myself and my friends here in the Test Kitchen at Food 52 share new recipes with you weekly. And today I have for you sausages with leek and pear gravy. This will make a great brunch, great lunch, definitely make a great dinner. All right, so I have my, I have my pan over medium high heat. I'm going with a good drizzle of olive oil. And here I have my sweet Italian pork sausage. Feel free to use hot as well. Uh, I like sweet just because I like to control the amount of heat. Um, not everyone, you know. So our pan is starting to smoke a little bit. There we go. And at this point, I'm just trying to get, um, I'm just searing it, just getting a little color. We're not cooking it all the way through. Um, today I'm using pork sausage. You're, this will go great with uh, turkey sausages or any other animal if you don't eat pork. This will work with veggie sausage. Is it? Oh, so you think, okay. All right, if you wanna come have a look at this. So this is all I'm looking for, really, just some nice browning. It's gonna give us a nice deep flavor. You don't want to move it too much, you just want to sear. This one could use another few seconds. Yeah, all you want to do at this point is give it some color because they're going to finish cooking in your sauce and your gravy. Um, and you just don't want to overcook your, your sausages. All right, let's have a look. All right, I'm happy with where we are here. So remove your sausages, set them aside. This one's a late bloomer. Give it another few seconds on each side. But yeah, this dish is uh, pretty heavily inspired by like bangers and mash. I'm not doing mash today, but this would go really good with mash. The flavors here are a little more bright, a little more delicate uh, with that honey and the, the shallots instead of onion. Shallots are gonna be a much more mild allium. The ginger and lemon really brighten it up as well. All right, pretty happy with that. So here I have four leeks, which I've trimmed and washed and diced into half moons. So we're gonna go straight into that. Straight in there with our leeks. Um, you just wanna get them pretty sliced fairly thinly. Now I'm going in with one diced pear. So I have this nub of ginger that I'm just gonna slice in half. A little bit of ginger, just slice in half. I kind of want to get that touching the pan directly. I don't really peel my ginger, um, especially if you grate it or chop it up. I've never had a piece of ginger that had the peel on it and wish it didn't. You don't, I don't notice it. We got some garlic. You know what it is about the garlic? Just, I just hate that sticky feeling. I don't like sticky things. All right, so I'm just, I'm just slicing our garlic. Give this another stir. I'm also gonna salt. And pepper. At this point. All right, we're also gonna go in with some roughly sliced garlic. Rough slice, rough chop, whatever you wanna do. I'm gonna hit it with a bay leaf. Got some sprigs of thyme. And you just want your leeks to, um, to soften. You're not really looking for, for much color on your leeks. It's more of a sweat. Gross. <laughs> so in the recipe, I call for Aleppo pepper, but you could really use any red pepper flake, Aleppo, uh, what's the Korean one? Not gochugaru? Not gochujang, gochugaru. There you go. Here I have some Szechuan chili flakes. I think that'd be fun. So I'm gonna do a pinch of that. Just a little heat, just to make up for the fact that um, the sausages are sweet sausages. Oh, that smells good. The Szechuan smells really good. I mean, Aleppo, I love Aleppo too, because Aleppo's like really fruity, but the Szechuan is gonna kind of give you more of that tingly, numbing feeling, which I love. Some people get freaked out, I love it. I'm just gonna hit a little more salt. 
more pepper. Yeah, I'm waiting for these to just soften and break down a bit. I think I'm gonna leave it alone for a second. So once this softens, I'm gonna go in with some chicken stock. You can use chicken stock, veggie, any, any stock you really want. Uh, either homemade, store bought. Um, I just have some better than bouillon, which I'm gonna dilute in some hot water. One thing I almost forgot, I'm actually gonna throw in a tablespoon of flour, about a tablespoon. This is gonna help thicken up our gravy. Just cook that down a little bit. We cooked on our flour for about a minute. Now I'm ready to go in with our stock. So in we go with our stock. All right, so I'm gonna bring this up to high, get this working. Our stock is in. Now, here comes our second pair, which I'm going to cut into, I guess, wedges. So the way I do it, slice it in half, and then with a spoon, I just take the core out. Nice big wedges. Cool. So in with our pears. You want to use a... a fairly uh, firm pear. You don't want it to be too ripe, otherwise it's gonna turn to mush. All right, our pears. About a generous tablespoon of honey. Uh, so the honey's just gonna add a little sweetness, help balance everything out. Sausages are gonna be really savory. Again, just the illusion of lightness here. It's not actually light because it's <laughs> pork sausages, but It'll feel like. Sick. Make sure they're nice and cozy. Put some of the stuff over it. All right, so I'm just gonna reduce the heat to medium low and we're gonna cook it uncovered for around 10 minutes. Um, after five minutes, gonna give them a flip. And in that time, our gravy is also gonna thicken a bit. So this would make a great lunch. Um, just this on top of some fried bread like I'm about to do. Would you like this for lunch or dinner? <laughs> this is dinner, huh? This is dinner. This is totally dinner. This is definitely dinner. This would make a good potluck dish. Well. Oh, I almost forgot our... All the good stuff. <laughs> I just forgot, almost forgot the best part. There we go. <laughs> I think I said lunch, but this would be brunch. This could be brunch, this right? This could be a fun brunch. Fried egg on the side? Yeah. I mean, this has to be part of a boozy brunch because soak some of it up, I don't know. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. Gonna give my, give my sausages a little flip. We can see how that gravy is getting nice and thick. So about another five minutes on this side. And while that's happening, let's work on our bread. So I decided to serve this on top of some olive oil fried sourdough. Um, you could also do mashed potatoes, like I said. You could do rice, rice would be great. You can do pasta, you can do whatever you want. All right, so a little olive oil. So our oil's hot, I'm gonna fry our bread. That's ham so beautifully cut. All right, she's frying. How much time do I have? <laughs> I never set the timer. I think we're almost done, we're pretty much there. Prep my little garlic in the meantime, feel me? How we doing? All right. Make sure you watch your bread, don't let your bread burn. Nothing puts me in a bad mood as much as burning bread. We're almost there, guys. Ooh, I'm gonna give you like another 30 seconds. Should I stop touching and grabbing stuff with my hands? All right, cool. Look, we're ready. Flip. Look at her. Keep an eye on it. All right, I'll use this one. Got a clove of garlic that I just cut the end off of. Just give it a good, give it a good rub. Don't burn your fingers like I am. The tiniest pinch of salt. All right, we're almost ready to plate. 
I killed the heat on my sausages, so I'm gonna finish it off with some lemon zest. Can someone pass me a pat of butter? A generous, okay. throw it in. Just throw it in there. Just threw in a cold pat of butter. Gets it nice and glossy. Kind of moving it around. We're gonna juice our lemon in this beautiful Holcomb juicer. Ooh, wait. Man, that really gets in there. Not a drop left. Nice. That lemon never stood a chance. All right, I think, are we ready to play? I think we're ready to play, huh? Oh, wait, one more thing. Let's throw some chives in there. Let's chop up some chives. I love a chive. I feel like I've been using them too much. They're just so good, they taste so good. It's pretty. Beautiful. Beautiful. I have our fried bread. I'm just gonna fish the sausage out. Optional, you don't have to cut it, but I'm just gonna give it a little slice. Perfect. All right, so we got our sausage. Let's get lots of that pear and leek gravy over it. You don't wanna be shy with this. You do want the bread to soak up a lot of that gravy. All right. All right. So I just like to finish it off with a little Extra black pepper. We can hit it with a little, <laughs> a little more chive. Not too much. There we have our sausages with leek and pear gravy. Super simple, really delicious, filling. Everyone's gonna love you even more than they already do. Uh, yeah, hope you try it. Let me know what you think. Mm, come prepared. Damn oh, you came ready, good. girl. <laughs> no way, I wanna put a little olive oil. Okay. Just gotta to get those finishing touches, you just know? To dri Ooh, just to drip, just to okay. Nice. We're good. Ooh, that looks so good. Wow, I feel like this could feed a lot of people. This can feed a lot of people. Mm. This, this feeds a crowd. Crowd feeder. <laughs> How much do you love eating on camera? I actually don't mind it that much. Really? No. Mmm. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's really, I like, it's really lemony this time. Mm -hmm. I love it. Mm. Because I added the lemon in the very end, Yum. which I, I should have. Like, mm -hmm. I love how the bread soaks everything up. It's so good. It's the whole like crispy mm. gone soggy. Mm -hmm. With the crispiness too. Very good. I mean, yeah, you, you could totally have this with potatoes, but I feel like the bread is where it's at. Yeah, it's really, very good. Nice job. Anybody Press me else? drop. <laughs> <laughs>